Hi everyone, welcome to Mask Monday 90s Music Edition. This is a collab with Erica Conger. Eric and I have collabed many different times, and the question and answer ones are some of my favorites. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy, and I'm really happy that you're here. Eric and I did a movie edition and an 80s music edition, and I will have those linked up here in the cards. Up here in the cards? One of these. Uh, so you can go back and visit those if you have not already. Uh, before we begin, I am wearing the Glam Glow Youth Mud. This is their collab with Barbie. I did get this from the Boxy Drop Shop. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I think it was like $20. This is my favorite mask. The Glam Glow Youth Mud is my favorite mask. It has volcanic ash in it. Um, a lot of really awesome things. I will have a link to them in the description box below. I believe uh, the cheapest I found it was on Amazon. It will be an Amazon link. It will also be an affiliate link. But when I take this off, my pores seem smaller. My skin is clear. I love it. It is not for the faint of skin. It does burn. If you have sensitive skin, it will light you on fire. So do a patch test. Okay, you guys, let's get started with our 90s music edition, Mask Monday. So I copied and pasted these. I have looked through them. Um, I purposefully did not study them because I always like for my answers to be kind of spontaneous. Okay, number one, favorite 90s hip hop artist. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Snoop Dogg on that. Snoop Dogg, Tupac, Naughty by Nature are like the three that I really like, but I think Snoop Dogg is probably the top, number one. Still love Snoop Dogg. And uh, definitely Tupac. Uh, favorite boy band. Number two, favorite boy band is Boys to Men. No question, Boys to Men. Um, I also mentioned them on my 80s, but they were kind of late 80s, early 90s. So I'm still sticking with Boys to Men. I love Boys to Men. I've seen them in concert. Um, they give a great concert. I've seen them in concert more than once. Great concert. Um, their musical abilities are like their their abilities to harmonize and all of that is just they were just amazing. Amazing. Number three, what is the nineties? What is a nineties song that comes on the radio and that you instantly change the channel? Um anything by Mariah Carey. I can't name just one. Sorry, Erica. I can't name just one. Anything by Mar Mariah Carey. Uh, instantly flip that off. Also, Spice Girls. I can't stand the Spice Girls. So, especially Wannabe, their first big hit. I don't like it. I never liked it. Um, so yeah, I will instantly change the station on that. Um, okay. What is the 90s song that comes on the radio that you instantly crank up? Um, number one is Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. Uh, because I sing it at the top of my lungs. It is such a great song. Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls is just a great song. And it's like, I don't know, I just have to belt it when I'm in the car. Not always by myself. Doesn't matter. I belt it. Um, also, No Diggity by Black Street. Love that song. And Regulators by Warren G. Those will all get cranked up every time. Um, let's see. Number four, 90s album, album, 90s album you listen to the most. <sighs> there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot. Um, definitely the one that comes to mind first is 10 by Pearl Jam. I loved Pearl Jam. I freaking loved Pearl Jam. Um, I loved the cranberries. Oh, I loved the cranberries and still do love the cranberries so much. Um, Nirvana. What was the name of that album? Mm. Evermore? Nevermind? Nevermind? Nevermind by Nirvana. Yeah, I, I listen to that all the time. Uh, number five, favorite movie soundtrack from the 90s. I have a few. And I still have... I believe I still have the cassettes for them. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump was an amazing soundtrack. It has like so many different genres and uh, eras of music. Uh, the Boys in the Hood soundtrack 
Yes. Love the Boys in the Hood soundtrack. Love the movie so much. And also Waiting to Exhale. Yes. Uh, Waiting to Exhale had such a great soundtrack. Uh, Mary, J. Mary J. Blige. Love, love Mary J. Blige. Um, yeah. Uh, little side note. The um, Super Bowl halftime show last year, that was like a 90s era dream. It had Snoop. It had Mary J. Blige. It, it was so good. It was so good. Okay. Um, number six. Best, best 90s song to dance to at the club. Okay. The Humpty Dance. The Humpty Dance was like it. I loved the Humpty Dance. Um, that was Digital Underground, I believe. Digital Underground did the Humpty Dance. Also, Snoop Dogg, Gin and Juice. Snoop Dogg, Gin and Juice. California Love by Tupac. Uh, Jump Around by House of Pain. Yeah, those were all like club songs. I loved them. Loved them. Number seven. Which 90s artist do you think caused the most drama? Uh, Mariah Carey. Cause she's a freaking diva. She's so much drama. So much drama all the time. Now, I don't know if she caused drama in the 90s because she was pretty low-key. I'm still going with her because I'm pretty sure she did. Um, and then which one called, was the most controversial? Millie Vanilli. Millie Vanilli, that was huge. Because I loved Millie Vanilli. Oh my gosh, I loved him. And then when it came out that they didn't sing their own songs, ooh, I was so mad. Like I felt... I, I took it personally. <laughs> How dare you lie to me like that? Yeah, uh, Millie Vanilli, I think, caused the most controversy. Number eight. What do you think was the biggest change in music moving from the 90s or moving from the 80s into the 90s? Oh my gosh, that was such a huge change. Um, 80s, when I think of 80s music, I think of what they call bubblegum pop. And everything was all feel good. And everybody was, you know, dancing. And, you know, you had things like Wham! and uh, Cindy Lauper and, you know, the Bangles. And it was all kind of feel good. And then in the 90s, you had grunge, which I loved. Um, you had more hip-hop artists, I believe, coming out. More rap. More rap artists coming out. Um, I believe back when you could understand what they were saying. I love eighties and nineties rap. I do love, love. Um, but you had more alternative grunge was considered alternative, uh, music, but, um, I really, I really got into the whole grunge thing. I loved Soundgarden and I loved Pearl Jam and Nirvana and all of those. They were something different. They were just something different to listen to. Um, what was the first CD you ever bought? I think, I think the first CD I ever bought was 10 by Pearl Jam. I'm pretty sure it was. I think it was 10 by Pearl Jam. Um, I know I bought Boys to Men CD, but I think I bought Pearl Jam first. Number 10, did you see any concerts in the nineties? Who did you see and which one was your favorite? I did. I saw Boys to Men in the 90s. Um, I saw Elton John and Billy Joel together. That was amazing. Um, I saw some country artists. I saw Reba McIntyre. Uh, she was with John Michael Montgomery. And I saw Travis Tritt in the 90s. Uh, they were both great. They were all great. I think probably my favorite was Elton John and Billy Joel. Because Billy Joel is like one of my favorite artists ever. And it was such a great concert. Um, it was a birthday gift from my dad and my stepmom. And the closest that they were going to be to us at this time was Indianapolis. So we drove to Indianapolis. We got, we, um, they had gotten a hotel room for us and we drove to Indianapolis and we watched the concert, which was amazing. Um, and I love both of them so much. And then, um, I remember we went to White Castle <laughs> We went to White Castle, got White Castle, and we picked up beer and went back to the hotel room. And it, we, it was just such a fun uh, experience. Uh, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. 
Number 11, what 90s artist and what song did they sing that you loved and everyone else hated and vice versa? Um, I think one of the songs that I loved so much was Loser by Beck. I don't know why. I just, I just jammed out to that. So it's not a very jammy song. Um, definitely that. And also What's Up by Four Non Blondes. I think that was in the 90s. I think that was in the 90s. It might have been the early 2000s. I could be wrong. And that one I love too. And not everybody liked that. Um, uh, hated Mariah Carey Hero. All my friends loved Mariah Carey. I never died. I never liked her. I liked her very first song, Love Takes Time. I was like, oh, this girl can sing. And then I just didn't like her after that. Like everything sounded kind of the same. And I don't know. But um, the one that, that stands out to me and, and the reason that it, it came to me so fast was because I remember we were on our way to a place called the Oregon District. Um, it's in Dayton. And there's like a line of bars. And we're listening to the radio and the radio station was Z93. That was like the big radio station back then. And Loser came on and they went to change it. I was like, don't change it. And they're like, I hate this song. I love that song. But yeah. So Loved uh, loved was Loser by Beck and Mariah Carey was the hated. Yeah. Okay. Number 12. How did you feel about the grunge movement? Grunge music, bands, etc. Loved. Loved. Loved grunge. Um, it was just different. It was something different, man. It was something that we had not really heard before. Like I said before, um, it was just a different sound and it was angsty and it was, uh, you could get like, uh, you know, a little, a little like in your feels, but in a like mad way. Like if you were mad, you crank up some Pearl Jam and I don't know. Um, but I, I really, I liked the grunge movement a lot, a lot. Do you remember where you were when Kurt Cobain passed and when Tupac was killed? Um, Kurt Cobain, I remember that. I was in Yellow Springs. Yellow Springs, Ohio is a very small village um, in central, uh, central to south Ohio. It is a hippie. It is just a hippie town. It's very, it's very alternative. Um... I love going there. They have some, they have some of the neatest shops where you can buy pretty much anything. It's a lot of it's handmade. Uh, coincidentally, it's where Dave Chappelle lives. Uh, and I have seen Dave Chappelle a few times in Yellow Springs. Um, it's not really a big deal to see him because he's lived there all his life. Cause that's where his parents lived. I mean, that's where he's from. That's where he lives. That's his, that's, that's where he lives. Um, so I know I was in Yellow Springs, um, and I believe, if I remember right, I believe we were eating pizza at a place called the Old Trail Tavern, which has some of the best pizza. Um, when Tupac was killed, I was working in a salon. I was, I was working in a salon, and uh, one of my friends, because, you know, we didn't have cell phones. We didn't, you know, we didn't get the news. Uh, one of my friends called the salon. And she was off that day. She worked there. She was off that day. She called the salon and she was like, oh my God, did you know that Tupac died? And I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. So that was really sad. Both of those were, were really sad. Um, number 14, which 90s song reminds you the most of good times with friends back in the day? Um, right away, beauty school, I can think of Mr. Jones by Counting Crows. I felt like we were always listening to that. Um, what's up for non blondes? What's up? Um, oh gosh, California love, California love by Tupac, because we used to go out a lot and they played that at the bar all the time. The Oregon district where I was talking about before, they just had this whole line of bars and, um, Wednesday nights and Saturday nights and like three or four of them were ladies night and all well drinks and draft beer was free. So that's where we went. And I just remember those songs being played. And so when I, when I hear those songs on the radio, it reminds me of beauty school and it reminds me of my friends that I 
had in beauty school. Um, what is your favorite and least favorite 90s love song? Um, my favorite, End of the Road by Boys to Men. And I don't know if you would call this a love song, but I call it a love song. Creep by Radiohead. Um, I love that song so much. Like, when it comes on the radio, it's another one that I belt. It's a really great song. It's very haunting. Very haunting song. I like it. Um, but yeah, that's, I, I would still consider that a love song. Um, definitely End of the Road by Boys to Men. I like that song so much. Um, least favorite, <sighs> Be My Baby by Mariah Carey. <laughs> Anything least favorite is automatically going to be Mariah Carey. I'm just telling you that right now. Oh, um, Be My Baby. I just, I hated that song so much. Um, if you can hear my TV downstairs, I'm sorry. Anthony's watching TV. Um, let's see. Biggest 90s heartthrob. <sighs> Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Yes. Um, I was not into boy bands. Boys to Men was like a boy band that I loved, but... Like, as far as, like, the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and all of those, um, New Kids on the Block, whatever, I was not into boy bands at all. So I didn't really, like, look at those guys and be like, oh, no, they're so good looking. Uh, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp was, yeah, he was the one. He was the one. Uh, number 17, how do you feel about techno music? If you were a fan, which artist or group was your fave? I really liked... I, I am, I am a friend, a fan of tech. You know, I'm a fan of all genres of music. I love all genres of music. Um, some I like more than others. Techno is one that I do like, um, because I, I spent a lot of time in some clubs in the nineties and that's what they played in the clubs. Um, uh, there was a song called blue by Eiffel 65. And if you heard it, you've, if, if, if you look it up, you've heard it because it's been in commercials and stuff like that, but it's a great, great song. Um, also I really loved Depeche Mode. Um, there were more eighties, I think, but I think they still had, and they had some techno ish songs, but the, the cool thing about the nineties was, um, uh, you know, when I was talking about, there were different sounds that we had never heard. There were groups that were like a mix between R and B kind of R B hip R and B hip hop and techno. Uh, La Bouche was one. Um, Technotronic uh, was another one, and it was like it could be considered R and B. It could be considered a little bit hip hop, but it was also very techno. So those are the ones that I really liked. Um, so I would say La Bouche, La Bouche. And, um, I think they sang rhythm as a dancer and that was very techno. And then technotronic was pump up the jam, which I think might've been more eighties, but they had songs in the nineties as well. Um, cheesiest nineties artist and or group, uh, the Spice Girls were pretty cheesy, pretty cheesy. Um, also Aqua, they're the ones that sang Barbie girl. They were pretty cheesy too, but Spice Girls were like, cheesy. That was just ridiculous. <laughs> um, best nineties music video. Holy cow. There's so many. Uh, one of the ones that comes to mind right away is George Michael. You know, George Michael was in Wham and then he went away for, they broke up. He went away for a while and then he came back and he had like short hair and there was a music video called freedom 90 it was either Freedom 90 or Freedom 1990. I believe it was Freedom 90. And it, the song is kind of about his battle with the uh, MTV and like the music execs and things like that because they wanted him to be a certain thing. And he didn't, and he didn't want to be that. Um, but the, the video, I don't think had him in it at all. It had a bunch of supermodels from the day. Had Linda Evangelista, Naomi Campbell, and um, a couple of other 
uh, Christy Turlington. And I just thought all of those women were so beautiful. And um, I love that song. And I love, love that video. Um, number 20. What 90s album did you know all the lyrics to? Uh, 10 by Pearl Jam. Also, Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill. I loved Alanis Morissette, too. I did. Um, and I didn't buy her CD because I was—I would just thought maybe that was the first CD I bought, but it wasn't. I had her, her cassette tape. I might still have her cassette tape, actually. Um, but I really loved the, both of those. Notice I don't have one, like, one answer for any of these. There's always multiple. You know, there's so many great things about the 90s music. I can't just pick one. Uh, there's a bonus question. Best 90s country song to line dance to? The only one that, come, well, there were a lot, but the one that immediately comes to mind was Boot Scoot and Boogie. Yeah, that was a big bar, a big bar song. Line dance to Boot Scoot and Boogie. Yes, loved it. Loved it. Okay, you guys, uh, let me know in the comments below some of your answers to some of these questions. And if you want to do these questions, um, I will have them linked in the description box below if you want to do them on your channel. Um, but yeah, tell me some of your answers if you were a 90s music buff. And you guys, go check out Erica's video. I love Erica. Erica is just, I call her the Disney princess of YouTube. She is. She's so nice and she's so sweet and she's so honest and the what you see is what you get with her. She is actually that nice. And she's beautiful and she does beautiful makeup and she's just fun to watch. Such a great storyteller. Uh, I just love her. I love Erica so much. She is one of my really good friends here on YouTube. And so I'm going to have a link to her, ch her channel in the description box, but I'm also going to have a link to her video in the description box. Go, go check her out. Thank you, Erica, once again, for coming up with such great questions. She's, she comes up with the best questions. And it has been so much fun doing the movies, doing the 80s music and the 90s music. And we're kind of thinking about a 2000s, but I don't, I don't know if I really know that much 2000s music. But I probably know more than what I think I do. So, everyone, thanks so much for joining us today. I really appreciate being here. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day, and we'll see you later. Except for when he lived in, you know, L.A. But he's lived there all his life, so he's just kind of like, people know him as him, and it's not uh, a big deal.